even if you don't want to taste uh, it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're just happy you're here. Uh, I am. It's always more fun when we have a friend in it here. It is. It is always more fun. Because two grown-ups can be kind of boring sometimes. 100%. 100%. Also, Rudy, you were in here in October, right? I remember you in the witch's hat. Yes, oh, yes. the witch's hat. The pumpkin cookies, and I forget what else you made. I don't you have, have the recipe. I don't remember. Rudy has the recipe. Do you want to uh, know? No. I do. I printed it out. You want it? So it's, uh, just, can you, re- so it's um, onions, Garlic, oil first, and then the turkey. Oh, yeah, I got it. Never mind. Yeah? I got it. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. you guys. Actually, no. Here? I feel like I panicked. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> cut off the Don't part. worry. Thank you. <laughs> I just like to have something to look down at. It's not like I won't forget. Or I will forget. <laughs> okay, you ready? Are you laughing at me, Brianna? No, no, no. We were laughing at you. Okay, here we go. Dave, I was serious. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that is totes new. Totes new. Yeah. That's a lot more polished. Everybody says that, and I'm like, I wish you hadn't. I loved it. Okay, here we go. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Joel Nagy. I'm the executive chef here at Children's Hospital. And with me today are my friends. I'm Brigida. I'm a dietitian here. And our new friend, Kendra. (laughs) Welcome, Kendra. Thanks for joining us today. We're really happy to have you here. Yes. Um... What we're going to do today are stuff some peppers, sort of in a Mexican style. Um, and Brigitte, do you want to give us a little overview on peppers? Sure. And so the pe- benefits? Yes. So peppers are a wonderful thing to eat. So peppers are a vegetable, obviously. And because they are a vegetable, they have a lot of fiber in them. Fiber has a lot of good benefits. Fiber helps fill us up. Um, fiber is really good for our blood sugar control and fiber is really good for our weight management as well. Um, peppers also have lots of vitamins and minerals in them, um, so they're really good for you. Awesome. Is there any difference in the color? Does that have any advantage or disadvantage over another pepper? You know what? I don't think so. I yeah. think that they kind of all do have the same thing. Right. Yeah. Cool. I was just wondering. Yeah. Um, so well, the first step in our process is we're going to um, break down a pepper. Okay, so do you want to pick one of the peppers for me? Your favorite orange? Perfect. That's awesome. Can I take that? And we're going to trim it. And when I'm doing this at home, um, I'll always trim the bottom because obviously uh, it's not flat. It makes it really easy to stand up in whatever vessel you're, that you're cooking in. So I'll just trim that right so it stands. And then we'll take the top off. And we'll pull out the seeds. And in this recipe, we're going to we're going to um, use all of the pepper. So instead of discarding these two pieces, uh, we're just going to cut them up and put them into the mixture. Do you know how to dice, Kendra? No. no. <laughs> Brigitte does. She told me before we started. Yes. It doesn't look as pretty as that, though. I'll be honest. Yours looks very profesh. Because <laughs> I am very <laughs> profesh. <laughs> so for the mixture, the interior mixture, excuse me, we're going to start, and in this, um, in this recipe, it had ground beef originally, mm-hmm. and I thought for, for what we're doing and, and its application here, I was going to use ground turkey, Wonderful. L- a little leaner, a yes. little less fat, yes. um, and then that would give me the opportunity to use olive oil to saute everything and kind of bring it all together because Perfect. the recipe called for um, a spray. Wonderful. Right, so I'm trying to sort of make that adaptation without any um, any change in the nutritionals, maybe even an advantage yep. to the nutritionals. Oh, at definitely this point. an advantage. So with the ground turkey, we're having a little bit less of that saturated fat than that ground beef would have. Um, saturated fat isn't good for our heart. 
Um, the less saturated fat we have, the better for our heart health. And again, by adding that olive oil, we're gonna have some of those unsaturated fats, which good. are good for our heart as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Olive oil is one of my favorite, favorite things. Also tasty. Yeah, absolutely. And, and as we say here very frequently, um, the better the ingredient, the better the dish. So if you could make, uh, if you had the opportunity to buy a really good cold pressed olive oil, it's gonna make a difference. Um, but if you don't, that's okay too. <clears throat> So we're going to start with the, um, the aromatics. So we're going to go with garlic, and that is one tablespoon, and then a half a cup of onions. Do you like onions? No. <laughs> How about garlic? No. What's your favorite dish? I never had any. You never had them. Oh. We can't all have everything. That's right. I haven't had everything. Have you had peppers before? No. Can you smell it? That's how we know we're that's how we know we're cooking. All right? I love the smell of garlic in the onions. onions. It's a great start to anything. It really is. <laughs> and we I'm gonna get this started slowly. Um because the garlic will burn and you'll get that sort of bitter taste. It, you have it on a low heat as well. Yeah, I do have it on a low heat. And remember, kids, that when we're at home, we probably want to have a parent around to make sure we don't have any accidents or if something does go wrong, mommy or daddy or, or grandma or grandpa are there to, to kind of help us. So, I, oh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, the next step, of course, after we've softened these a little bit, is I'm going to add um, eight ounces or a half a pound of ground turkey. And again, the advantage of the ground turkey versus the ground beef is a little bit substantial, leaner. right? Yes, definitely. More heart healthy. Yeah, and, and typically um, when the protein is in, inside of something or in the interior of something, I'll, I'll usually use something leaner because at that point it's just a vehicle. Yes. Right? It's just an avenue, uh, a way to ingest protein, if you will. It doesn't have a big bearing on the flavor profile. Um, and what I was thinking when I was doing this, you could actually just use beans. Um, just make a simple garbanzo bean mash or, or something like that. Because um, it's going to have the same value. Yes, still going to get that good protein. Right. Kendra, do you like beans? Yeah? Awesome. Have you ever tried a garbanzo bean? No. You don't think so? <laughs> They're an interesting bean. They sure are. So, and again, when, when you're cooking this Mexican food, um, the aromatics are, are, are really important. Um, so that's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. But it, it's the food that I really, really enjoy cooking oh, the yes. most. Um, yeah. It's just really easy and it's always tasty and it's really become, for me, comfort food. Yeah. So I'm going to add the, um, excuse me, two tablespoons of chili powder and one tablespoon of cumin. And that's really, really our flavoring profile, right? We have garlic, cumin, and chili powder. Those are, again, some good household spices. Right, and, and something you probably have in your, in your pantry. Yeah. I would think. So we're just going to finish this off until it browns and then incorporate it. And I'm going to take it off the heat at this point because we're almost finished. What do you think? Are you going to learn how to cook now? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It looks kind of fun. Well, huh? I'll take yeah, I'll take that over a no any day. <laughs> I'm just gonna give a little shake, and then I'm gonna fold in um, one cup of black beans, and that's kind of what we were talking about, right? Yes. Uh, in terms of a, an additional super lean uh, protein, protein value, right? Right. Exactly. And I'm just gonna toss those in uh, over heat, and typically a ground pepper. If grandma's making it for you, mm -hmm. uh, ground beef, rice, tomato sauce, marinara, whatever it is. Our liquid in this case is a salsa. And I, I chose just a, a standard mild salsa. 
But I think this is really where you have the opportunity to change it. So oh. you could put uh, a mango pineapple salsa in here, or if you like a little more heat, you could do something that has habanero in it. Um, or any, there's so many really good salsas out there, or you can make your own, um, which is what I prefer. Oh, that's really true. I didn't think you could definitely add some really fun salsas yeah. and get a completely a, different flavor yeah. profile. Yeah, you probably. can sweeten it a ton. You could, uh, I think in this case, getting a, a salsa with chipotles in it would be really advantageous to Ooh. the to the dish. Could even get some fruit in there if you wanted yep. like a mango pineapple salsa. Hundred percent. Some more nutrients. So once that's all cooled down, uh, I'm going to transfer it to a bowl. And this is where we and we're going to add our last ingredient. Well, actually, <laughs> because I forgot to add these, we'll add them now. Yay! The uh, the pepper pieces. The recipe is uh, a half a cup and two tablespoons of cilantro. Inside of the mixture, we want to add the half a cup. Okay, that's really fresh, really my absolute favorite spice. I love cilantro too. Yeah, it, it just encompasses so many different cuisines. Oh, yes. And it's just a simple fold from here. And what we're doing um, with the cilantro, because the mixture is hot, it's steeping the cilantro and sort of cooking it just a little bit. See that? And that's just a little bit of stuffing for our pepper, what our pepper think? friend here. Does, Does that look good? yummy? Does it smell good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it smells good? All right, we'll take that. That's a win. Love it. Yeah. And of course, the last step before we, uh, before we put it in the oven is we just stuff the pepper, right? As simple as it sounds. That's how easy this is. I mean, it literally took us, you know, six minutes. And again, you know, another thing that we talk about real frequently on here is the convenience and time that you have in your day-to-day -day life. This is certainly something that you could make six or eight or 10 of on a Sunday afternoon, throw it in your uh, refrigerator. And it's just, uh, it's about 20 minutes at 375 when you come home and you've got this. I was going to say that too, a lot of the times people definitely think that healthy eating, you know, is super time consuming, right. super difficult. This is not one of those recipes. No, not at all. And in fact, what I'm finding is um, that the more I'm cooking cleaner, the easier it really yeah. is. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, it's just because you're using real good, real clean ingredients, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about disguising or or changing the profiles at all. Yes. So what you want to do is take these uh, peppers, and this is built for four. We only did one, obviously, for television. Um, but it's built for four. Put them in a uh, baking pan, cover them with foil, and we put them in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes um, at 375. Yes, 375. And through the magic of television, Brigida, please put that in our oven. Opening up the oven door. Yep, and ding! Our peppers are finished. Woohoo! Yay! Um, could you help me with a plate right there? And we'll plate. This is this is our favorite part. To make it look all pretty. Yes. So we have a finished peppers here, and I chose one of each: um, a red bell, a green bell, a yellow bell, and a an aloha pepper, which is a, a striped pepper that is a little firmer, super sweet, holds up all. Uh, very, very well. Absolutely delicious. And so to finish these peppers off. Ooh, those look good. We're gonna put the fun stuff on them now. We do wanna put a little bit of fun on top of, of them. Of course. So I, what I have here is about a half, or I'm sorry, a quarter cup of um, light sour cream. Wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is just dab that on there. And again, thinking about heart health, that light sour cream um, is a little bit lower in that saturated fat, which again is definitely going to be a little bit better for our hearts than that full fat saturated cream, or sour cream. 
Absolutely. It's still tasty. So fun. Um, half a cup of shredded uh, in the <laughs> in the uh, grocery store. It's called Mexican cheese, but it's uh, cheddar and Monterey Jack for those of you at home who aren't sure what that really means. We'll just top it with a little bit of cheese because cheese usually makes things better. <laughs> Do you like cheese? Yeah. And there we go. If you ask my wife, it definitely makes things better. And then it wouldn't be chef driven if I didn't have fresh herbs on top mm -hmm. of it, right? Is that that extra cilantro? Yes, it's the last two tablespoons that you've reserved. And there you are. I mean, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. See, not bad at all. Dinner for four. I mean, you have a veg. We're talking about my plate. Mm -hmm. This touches a whole bunch of those pieces on my plate oh, yes. all in one dish. Our dairy, our vegetable, our protein. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. What do you think, Kendra? It, that's great. That's what we I like. like that. Interesting. We love trying new things, right? Absolutely. It's always fun. Do you want to um, cover the nutritional? nutrition Yes. Labels? Sure. So I was just going to talk a little bit about reading a nutrition label. So this is the nutrition label for this recipe. Um, so whenever we read the nutrition label, the first place that we always like to start with is the serving size. We know that this serving size is going to tell us how much we can have for this information listed below. So the serving size in this is one pepper. And one pepper shows us has five grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, and seven grams of fiber. We like it when our food has at least three grams of fiber per serving. This having seven grams of fiber is a wonderful source of our fiber. Um, this again is really helpful for our diabetic patients um, when they are able to, you know, read the food label and see that this is 25 grams of carbohydrates and use that from there. Excellent. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add? I don't believe. No, that was super fun. Kendra, did you have fun? <laughs> Will you come back? Oh, good. I'm good. so glad. Maybe we can talk the next time about the things that you like or want to have, and we'll try to build a menu around that for you. Yes, definitely. Okay. All right, thank you everyone for joining us again today. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yep. And I want everyone to have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank Goodbye. you. Thank you. Thank you.